Hello students, uh, so in the previous lecture we started a new chapter and um, we did introduce ourselves uh, to um, uh, undamped free oscillations and then we slowly move towards the uh, damped free oscillations. I will continue this discussion, damped free oscillation and uh, we will also show one or two examples. So if you remember the calculation from the previous class, we arrived uh, something like this. So we had uh, y t, sorry. Um, we had uh, y t y t is equals to uh, c 1 e to the power r 1 t plus c 2 e to the power r 2 t right. Now, uh, here uh, r 1 and r 2 um, r 1 and, and r 2 are uh, real and distinct numbers if zeta is greater than 1 then uh, r 1 and r 2 are real and distinct numbers and uh, r 1 plus uh, r 2 I think we had minus of 2 zeta omega 0 which is less than 0 and uh, r 1 times r 2 is equals to omega 0 whole square. So, from here uh, we said that uh, both r 1 and r 2 um, are uh, negative. So, both r 1 and r 2 so, this is the case when zeta is greater than 1, right. So, r 1 and r 2 are both negative, right, negative and um, um, from here we can say that uh, y uh, decreases rapidly, decreases rapidly uh, regardless of the uh, rapidly to 0 uh, regardless regardless uh, of the values of C 1 and C 2. So, up to here we covered in the previous class of C 1 and C 2. So, what does this mean? Uh, so, this and this is basically over damping, right. So, this is actually over damping. So, what does this mean? Uh, if, uh, uh, if zeta is greater than 1, so that means uh, zeta the way we have defined uh, gamma by uh, 2 square root of m k. So, if that is greater than 1, then in that case we will have over damping situation, right. And in case of over damping situation, uh, we are getting this um, solution um, uh, whatever, I mean it will always uh, de rapidly decrease to 0, we will see by one example also. Now, we can determine the constant C 1 and C 2 using the initial conditions that is y at 0 equals to y 0 and y 1 0 equals to uh, y dash at 0 equals to y 1 0. Okay. Now, um, so from here uh, if you use the initial conditions and determine uh, the constants and basically I am going to write down the final solution. So, y t should be I mean you should be able to get um, y 0 r 2 minus uh, y 1 0 divided by r 2 minus r 1 into e to the power r 1 t plus y 1 0 minus y 0 r 1 divided by r 2 minus r 1 e to the power r 2 t. Hopefully, it is correct. If not, then you can this is just a mathematical calculation. So, you can fix it by yourself. So, let us call it as I do not know equation number 1 for today, right. So, this is the solution for um, uh, damped free oscillation. Let us see one example or uh, let us derive the case zeta equals to 1 also. So, if zeta is 1 then what will happen? So, if zeta is 1, um, if zeta is 1 then uh, we have r 1 equals to r 2 which is equals to o minus of omega 0 which is less than 0 and uh, the general solution of uh, the differential equation is, uh, is um, y t equals to c 1 plus c 2 t e to the power minus of omega 0 t right. And uh, once again, once again we see that irrespective the values of c 1, c 2 irrespective of the values of c 1 and c 2 of c 1 and c 2 uh, y ultimately ultimately uh, 
tends to 0 tends to 0 as uh, t tends to infinity as t approaches to infinity although although the decay does not start abruptly does not start abruptly as uh, in case 1 as in case 1 this is called this is called critical damping critical damping and uh, applying initial conditions applying initial conditions we get we do get some values so the final solution will be y t equals to y 0 plus y 0 omega 0 plus y 1 0 into t to e to the power minus of omega 0 t we can call it as equation number 2 right so when zeta is greater than 1 uh, and when zeta is equals to 1 uh, we have covered these two cases ok let us start uh, or let us say when zeta is less than 1 also so then we are in the all three cases so if zeta is then I think we will be safe to start with the example. So, we have zeta greater than 1, zeta equals to 1 and then zeta less than 1. So, if zeta is less than 1, then what will happen? Then, uh, uh, zeta is less than 1, which should be greater than 0 because we have 2 by uh, square root of, uh, nay, gamma by 2 into square root of k m. So, everything is positive. Uh, so, whether it is less than 1 or not, that that is what we are contemplating. So, then um, the characteristics roots, then the characteristics roots, roots are um, R 1 is equals to omega 0 minus of zeta plus uh, 1 i times uh, 1 minus zeta square and R 2 is equals to omega 0 minus of zeta minus of i times 1 minus zeta square i times 1 minus zeta square. So, here in this case um, our solution y t will become e to the power minus of um, zeta omega 0 into t into c 1 cos of omega 1 t plus c 2 sin of omega 1 t where omega 1 is equals to omega 0 into uh, square root of 1 minus zeta square. So, this is under damping, this is under damping, there is undamped that we covered in the previous class and this is under damping, there are two different things under damping case and here also case uh, C A S C and here also y t still tends to 0, still uh, tends to 0 as t tends to infinity. So, cos and sin they are oscillating and e to the power minus of something into t. So, then as t tends to infinity it will drag e to the power minus of something into t to 0. So, this will still tend to 0 as t tends to infinity. Um, because of the negative part, but in an oscillatory manner, but in an oscillatory manner because of the presence of sin and cos, oscillatory manner. And uh, if we use initial conditions I C's, then we will get y 0 equals to C 1 and uh, C 2 equals to zeta zeta y 0 omega 0 y 1 0 omega 1. Then you put it back and then that will give the required solution. So, combining this and this will get the required solution. So, when we have damped oscillation, uh, but free that means there is no external force. So, then we construct this uh, zeta which is actually gamma by 2 square root of k m. Now, depending upon whether zeta is positive, I am sorry, greater than 1, then uh, we have over damping when it is equal to 1, 
then we have critical damping and when it is less than 1 then we have under damping right. So, I will consider 3 simple examples to show you I mean what do we mean by actually. So, let us see the case uh, zeta greater than 1. So, this example corresponds to that case. Achha. So, the position uh, y t, uh, the position y t uh, at any time t of a unit mass. So, the position y t uh, at a time at time t at time t of a unit mass of a unit mass that starts uh, oscillating from the point 2 from the point 2 with initial velocity with initial velocity minus 1 in a system with gamma is equals to 5 and k is equals to 6 and no external force and no external force. So, then the IVP then the IVP is we will have y double dash plus 5 into y dash plus 6 into y is equals to 0. Initially it was uh, at 2 and then uh, y dash 0 equals to minus 1. So, initial velocity means uh, y 1 0. Achha, we can call this as equation number 1. Um, so, here from here the characteristics will be um, the characteristics roots, the characteristics roots, the characteristics characteristics uh, roots are uh, from here we can see that uh, uh, 2 uh, minus 3 and minus 2. So, minus 3 and minus 2. So, we will have r 1 equals to minus of 3 and r 2 equals to minus of 2 and uh, uh, the initial conditions are 2 and minus 1. So, therefore, the required solution the required solution is um, y t equals to minus 3 e to the power minus of 3 t plus 5 e to the power minus of 2 t. So, here basically we have a system so as t tends to um, infinity this um, y t immediately goes to 0 right. So, here if you plot the graph then uh, this will look like something like this. So, this is y t. So, it starts from let us say 2 and uh, so when t is 0 when t is 0 then it is 2. So, it will start from 2 and then it will immediately goes to 0 right not not negative but 0. So, there is, it should not go to negative. So, here we have 1, 2 and then 3. So, that is the case right. So, this is the example of over damping right. So, where zeta is greater than 1. Another example that we can consider is the case when we have critical damping gamma equals to 1 right. So, we have uh, covered uh, over damping now we will look into the case of uh, critical damping. So, again uh, the example is a mass uh, in a system with uh, gamma is equals to 4 and k is equals to also 4 and no external force and no external force starts oscillating starts oscillating um, from the point from the point that means y at 0 1 with initial velocity 2 with initial velocity 2 then its position y t where t is positive 
uh, is the solution of the initial value problem IVP uh, y double dash gamma is 4 so 4 y k is 4, 4 y dash so and k is 4 so 4 y is equals to 0 and y at 0 equals to 1 y dash at 0 equals to 2 this is equation number 1 equation number 2. So, from here the characteristics roots the ch roots are r1 is equals to r2 is equals to minus of 2 and uh, omega 0 equals to 2 y 0 equals to 1 and y 1 0 is also equals to 2. So, then since we have equal characteristics roots uh, then the solution can be given by y t is equals to 4 t plus 1 e to the power minus of 2 t and uh, this is the case of critical damping. So, here if I plot the graph this is t 0 this is y t. So, it will so here we have 1.5 here we have 0.5 and here we have 1. So, it will start from 1 go a little bit up and then it will eventually starts going down right. So, here we have uh, 1 here we have 2 3 and so on. So, this is the example of critical damping when we have equal roots right. So, we have covered um, over damping and critical damping. Now, let us consider one example when we have uh, under damping right still damping. Okay. So, example 3 when zeta is less than 1, but still positive right. So, let us consider the position y t at a time the position y t at a time uh, t positive for a mass for a mass m equals to 4 and uh, that starts oscillating that starts oscillating from the point half that means y at 0 equals to half with initial velocity 7 by 4 with initial velocity 7 by 4 in a system with gamma is equals to 4 and k is equals to 17 and uh, no external force and no external force uh, is the solution is the solution of the differential equation. So, 4 y double dash plus uh, gamma is also 4 uh, y dash and uh, k is 17 y and then y at 0 is equals to half and y dash at 0 equals to 7 by 4 sorry not 17 7 by 4. So, from here uh, the characteristics roots of the differential equation the ch equation the ch roots of the differential equation let us call it as 1 of the differential equation 1 r r 1 is equals to 1 by 2 plus 2 y and uh, r 2 is equals to 1 by 2 minus of 2y and we have and we have omega 0 equals to square root of 17 by 2 and zeta equals to um, 1 by square root of 17 uh, 1 by square root of 17 
and uh, omega 1 equals to 2, C 1 is equals to half and uh, C 2 equals to 1 and therefore the required solution y t will be um, e to the power minus of t by 2 1 by 2 cos of 2 t plus sin of sin of 2 t. So, this is the case of uh, under damping. So, basically in this case what is happening is, so this is y t, this is t. So, we have and then and so on. So, slowly it will start uh, diminishing these oscillations. So, here we have 0 0.5, here we have minus of 0 0.5. Uh, so, this is uh, uh, this is 2, this is 4 and so on. So, this is the case of um, under damping. So, we have uh, over damping, critical damping and then we have under damping and we also looked into some examples right so like this um, we um, in case of uh, free oscillation that means when we have no external forces uh, we can think of damped oscillation and undamped oscillations and we covered by example uh, both the un undamped and uh, uh, damped oscillations in damped oscillations we have uh, um, under damped uh, then we have uh, critical damping under damping, critical damping and over damping right. So, this concludes the part of uh, force free oscillation. Now, in case if you have uh, undamped forced oscillation then it will look like this. undamped forced oscillation. So, same equation of motion we will have m y double dash plus uh, k y um, equals to f 0 and uh, here instead of writing f 0 or f we will write f 0 into cos of omega t. y at 0 equals to y 0 and y dash 0 equals to y 1 0 right. So, where f 0 and omega 0 are the uh, constant are the constant uh, amplitude and frequency amplitude and frequency and frequency of an of an external external driving force driving force right and uh, we can also take uh, k by m is equals to omega 0 then y double dash omega 0 whole square equals to f 0 by m um, cos of omega t right. So, this is um, the equation uh, of motion for the um, damped uh, undamped forced oscillation. So, undamped forced oscillation is similar to what we have undamped uh, unforced I mean or free oscillation. So, there we had f equals to 0 simply. So, if f equals to 0 then uh, you have uh, uh, you have uh, free oscillations. Here we have uh, f uh, not equals to 0 and uh, we are assuming that uh, it is simply f 0 into cos of omega t. So, then in that case our equation will reduce to m y double dash plus k y is equals to f 0 cos of omega t. Of course, we supplement it by using some initial uh, conditions. So, that is y 0 equals to y at 0 equals to y 0 and y dash at 0 equals to y 1 y and uh, we have also defined some parameters here. So, this is the um, 
definition of uh, undamped forced oscillations right so the complementary now here um, i assume that uh, you know these uh, methods to solve uh, this kind of ode so since we have right hand side as uh, non zero so we cannot simply just uh, solve it uh, by taking the right hand side zero and get get the characteristics equation from there write the solution when you have um, right hand side as non zero or say functions of x so then in that case um, i sorry functions of t um, or even constant then in that case you have to think for the solution as a complementary function and particular integral right so for um, ordinary differential equation when you have something on the right hand side besides zero then writing the solution is not always uh, so straightforward so we go via complementary function so complementary function is obtained by taking the right hand side zero then you obtain the particular integral and uh, there is a way to obtain these two things so complementary function part is easy but to obtain the particular integral you have to know the method that how we actually uh, obtain the particular integral right so in this case um, i'm just going to write down the complementary function so the complementary function so i'm i'm operating on the hypothesis that you all know all these things so the complementary function of 1 is um, yt is equals to c1 cos of uh, omega 0 t Mm, plus c2 this this should be uh, cos of omega 0 t plus c2 sin of omega 0 t right so cos of omega 0 t sin of omega 0 t so this is the complementary function where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constant okay now we have to obtain uh, the particular integral right so we have to obtain the particular integral which is a uh, little bit um, um, how to say uh, not complicated but uh, yeah you have to work it out so if um, the case one if uh, omega is not equals to omega 0 so then um, will have uh, the complementary function uh, uh, sorry the particular integral or uh, we can let we can just write it uh, we, we don't have to take this case so the particular integral uh, will be uh, the particular integral of 1 is y p so this is y c then y p will be f 0 m omega 0 square minus omega square into uh, f uh, sorry cos of omega t cos of omega t i hope cos of omega t right so this is the particular integral therefore the required therefore the required general solution of 1 is given by is given by the general solution of one is given by y t is equals to uh, is equals to um, c one cos of omega zero t plus c two sine of omega zero t plus f zero uh, m into omega 0 whole square minus omega 0 uh, uh, minus of omega whole square into cos of omega t right now we can use the initial and uh, initial conditions that are given to us so by implementing initial conditions by implementing uh, initial conditions ic's uh, we obtain c1 is equals to y0 minus of f0 by m omega 0 minus of omega square and c2 is equals to y at uh, y dash at 0 or y10 is equals to omega 0 therefore 
um, now we can substitute the value of C1 and C2 in our general solution. So, when you have non-zero right hand side, we will get complementary function and the particular integral, then you write down the general solution as the sum of complementary function and particular integral and uh, that that is this expression here and uh, then uh, sorry. Um, Uh, so, this, this should not be stricken out. So, this expression, sorry, this expression. So, this is the general solution of, uh, of our uh, given uh, equation 1 and uh, from initial uh, conditions that are given to us, we can determine the constant C1 and C2 and uh, you put the value of C1 and C2 back into the general solution and that is basically your uh, required solution for the given uh, ordinary uh, system uh, sorry given uh, ordinary uh, differential equation non homogeneous case and uh, from here we can categorize of course uh, this forced uh, undamped oscillations and similarly we have forced uh, damped oscillation and uh, we will cover all those things uh, in the forthcoming class so then um, i will um, uh, stop here today and uh, i will continue this discussion on uh, forced damped oscillation in the next class. So, thank you.